the Kremlin has blamed the storming of an airport in southern Russia by an anti-Israeli mob on outside influence. Spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters on Monday that ill-wishers had used images of suffering in Gaza to inflame tensions in Russia's predominantly Muslim Dagestan region in the North Caucasus, though he did not specify who the Kremlin believed had engineered the violence or why. Hundreds of protesters aimed to disrupt the arrival of a plane from Israel on Sunday, leading to dozens of arrests. Videos obtained by Reuters from the airport showed mostly young men waving Palestinian flags. 20 people were wounded at the airport before security forces contained the unrest, local authorities said. The passengers on the plane were safe, security forces told Reuters. The unrest followed several other anti-Israel incidents in recent days in Russia's North Caucasus region in response to Israel's war against Hamas militants in Gaza. In the wake of the attack, Russian police took control of the airport in regional capital Makhachkala. The Russian Aviation Authority then closed the facility, cancelling all flights until security checks have been completed. Dagestani local government footage released on Monday showed airport officials inspecting the damage and telling regional leaders how protesters threw cobblestones at the facility. We are working. We are ready. Our equipment is in operational mode. Only the passport control booths sustained some mechanical damage. Russia's interior ministry said it had so far identified 150 of what it called the most active protesters. Regional leaders in two other areas of the Northern Caucasus called for calm. A similar appeal was issued by Dagestan's chief Muslim cleric, or Mufti. While Israel urged Russian authorities to protect Israelis and Jews in their jurisdictions, adding that the Israeli ambassador in Moscow was working with Russian authorities.